and welcome to the Games That Matter Week 12 recap video slash Week 13 predictions video. Um, time ran really short on me this week. I really didn't need a day off. I'm working all the way through the week and um, basically I'm going to have to cram these two videos together just to get them out before the games happen. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. Sorry, the recap is going to be very brief. Pretty much just going to go through uh, what happened and whatnot. Um, so starting with number five, Alabama at Mississippi State. I had Alabama winning this one. They did on the road pretty convincingly, keeping their hopes alive in a potential spoiler spot in the playoffs again. Indiana at number nine, Penn State. I picked Penn State to win this one at home, and they did. Indiana did keep it close, though. Number 11, Florida at Missouri. I picked Florida to win this one. They did pretty easily. Um, Missouri put up a little bit of a fight early, but not much. Uh, number 14, Wisconsin at Nebraska. I picked Wisconsin to win this one, and they did on the road. Uh, Michigan State at number 15, Michigan. I had Michigan winning this one, and they did big at home. Kansas at number 22, Oklahoma State. I had Oklahoma State winning this game, and they did on the uh, on the home game here. Uh, looking forward to that matchup with Oklahoma towards the end of the season. <sighs> number 23, Navy at number 16, Notre Dame. I had Notre Dame winning this one at home. I thought it was going to be a close game. However, Notre Dame blew Navy out of the water. I think the final was 52-20, to 20, uh, most of Navy's points coming towards the end of the game. Next was number two, Ohio State at Rutgers. Ohio State won this one, as I thought they would. Wake Forest at number three, Clemson. I picked Clemson at home, and they took care of business easily. Number four, Georgia at number 12, Auburn. Now, I picked Georgia to win this one on the road. I thought it would be close, and it was. Uh, Georgia went out ahead early, I believe 14 to nothing. Auburn came back in the game. I think the final was 21-14. Georgia gets the road win here. Number 18, Memphis at Houston. I had Memphis winning this game, and they did. Number 19, Texas at Iowa State. I had Texas winning this game. They did not. Iowa State took care of business at home, knocked off Texas. West Virginia at number 24, Kansas State. I had Kansas State winning this one at home. However, West Virginia came out of nowhere, surprised me, and beat Kansas State, uh, knocking them off as well. Next was number 8, Minnesota at number 20, Iowa. I picked Minnesota. I said it was going to be a close game. Low scoring, and I thought Minnesota would come out with the win in the end. And it was close, and it was low scoring. Minnesota came back. They were down, I believe, 20-3 to at one point in this game. And ended up losing 23-20. to So, Minnesota came back in the game, but Iowa ultimately came away with the win. Number one, LSU at Ole Miss. I picked LSU to win that game, and they did. Number 17, Cincinnati at South Florida. I picked Cincinnati to win that game. They did. Took care of business on the road, keeping their season alive on a nine, uh, sorry, eight-game win streak. Uh, their last loss was the uh, shutout loss to Ohio State in week two, I believe. Number 10, Oklahoma at number 13, Baylor. I picked Oklahoma to win this game. However, Baylor roared out to a great start at a 28-3 to lead at one point but Oklahoma came back won the game by three points in the uh, in a spectacular fashion Oklahoma keeps their chances alive Baylor they're not out yet don't count them out they may get another crack at Oklahoma yet so number 25 Appalachian State at Georgia State I picked Appalachian State to win that game they did which uh, keeps their chances alive. They are now 9-1, and one, I believe. UCLA at number 7, Utah. I picked Utah to win this game, and they did. They took care of business at home. New Mexico at number 21, Boise State. I picked Boise State to win this one, and they did. No problems. And last but not least, Arizona at number 6, Oregon. I picked Oregon to win this game at home. They did, keeping their chances alive, making this final run to the college football playoffs a... Um, a very interesting one, I believe. So that puts me at 18 out of the 21 games correct this week, which puts me at an 85.7% correct rate. Uh, I have 191 of the 230 correct so far this season, which puts me at an 83% correct rate on the season for my games that matter. Uh, it's coming along pretty well, I believe. Um, 
And with that settled, we're going to go right into the week 13 predictions video. So, this one's going to start out, again, third straight week in a row that all top 25 games have been on a Saturday. Which is actually playing out really well for me, since I have not had time during the week to make these videos. Uh, hopefully next week will be different. I do have, uh, I do have Tuesday off, so I may be able to slap this together and hopefully get the videos out to you guys. Um, if I do get that chance, the rankings will not reflect what they should in my stance because I'll still have to wait for the college football playoff rankings to come out. Um, but that being said, going right back into this, the week 13 predictions. First on the slate for Saturday is number 8 Penn State at number 2 Ohio State. Now... I'm picking Ohio State to win this one at home. I think Penn State will give them troubles. But honestly, what I've seen from Penn State this season, um, I think they don't have enough to finish the game. They may take a lead even as late as the third quarter, but I just don't see them finishing the game strong. And I've seen Ohio State finish their games strong. So, there is that. I'm going with Ohio State at home. West Car Western Carolina at number 5, Alabama. Alabama's going to win. Number 10, Minnesota at Northwestern. I'm picking Minnesota to win this one. I think this is a bounce-back game for them, which puts them in an in interesting position. Um, I, re I went on and on about things they could have done last week by, um, by winning against Iowa, but I think Minnesota has a really good chance here at getting, I think it's just their 5th or 6th, 10 win season in school history with a win over Northwestern. I got Minnesota on the road. Samford at number 15. Auburn. Auburn's going to win this game. Illinois at number 17. Iowa. I'm picking Iowa home. However, I think Illinois keeps it close. Illinois is on a hunt trying to uh, get a winning season this year. Something they've struggled to get recently. Um, and I think they're going to look to hit Iowa for that. Iowa's going to fight back. Iowa's got a really good defense, and I think that is what wins them this game. Number 21, Oklahoma State at West Virginia. I've got Oklahoma State winning this one on the road. However, West Virginia has been a giant slayer of sorts this season, um, at least in the lower top 25. I think they come to play against Oklahoma State. It's going to be a close game. Kansas at number 22, Iowa State. I got Iowa State winning this one. They're at home. They're coming off a big win against Texas. Uh, they're back in the top 25 rankings. They're looking to prove themselves. I think Kansas is doing a lot better, but I don't think they're ready yet. And I think that Les Miles knows that. He's going to get them ready, though. So, I've got Iowa State at home. Next is Boston College at number 16, Notre Dame. Now, I'm picking Notre Dame at home. Boston College is going to give them some troubles, I think. It's just, how much do you trust Boston College's uh, offense is, is the real question. They've got, a decent, they've got a better offense than they have in the past. I'm still picking Notre Dame at home. I think Notre Dame just overpowers them, but I think Boston College gives them troubles. Texas State at number 24, Appalachian State. I'm picking Appalachian State to win this one at home. I think they're going to try and continue their season. They're looking to get 10 wins on the season and uh, continue their uptick um, from that unfortunate loss for them earlier in the season, trying to hope something happens to get them back in the race for the uh, non-Power 5 highest-ranking team. Texas A&M at number 4, Georgia. I'm picking Georgia to win this game. Um... I got them at home here. Texas A&M's kind of been up and down all season. I think Georgia wins this game. Uh, not hands down, but I think I think they'll win it by, by two scores. Uh, number 13, Michigan at Indiana. I've got Michigan winning this game on the road. Indiana will give them troubles. And I think Michigan might get caught looking ahead to next week. That being said, I still think they win this one. Texas at number 14, Baylor. Now, I got Baylor on the bounce-back win here. Uh, Texas is 
something's going wrong there. I think it feels like they're falling apart, almost. Um, and I think Baylor, Baylor's going to be angry about that loss last week. I think they're going to take it out on Texas. So next on the list is UCLA at number 23, USC. I've got USC winning this game at home. I think USC's had a stronger season so far. Um, I think that they have been able to put more together than UCLA so far this season. UCLA, UCLA has struggled to put together a full game so far this season. So I think USC wins at home. Number 25, SNU at Navy. Now, I'm picking Navy at home. I think Navy is looking for a bounce back win here um, after that rough one against Notre Dame last week I think they're looking to t uh, to get back to what they do it's one thing Navy has always done well is put the last game behind them and keep moving um, that and their run game is their their signature and SMU has been bad against the run this season giving up over or, uh, giving up over 300 yards rushing in their last two games combined uh, to Memphis and Eastern Carolina, East Carolina. I think Navy takes advantage of the fact that they're not that strong against the run and uh, exploits it, comes away with a close win. Purdue at number 12, Wisconsin. I'm picking Wisconsin at home here. I think Purdue's just not quite got enough in the tank to take out Wisconsin. Number 18, Memphis at South Florida. I'm picking Memphis to win this one on the uh, road here. I think South Florida is a decent enough team, but I think Memphis is on a march to get to their conference championship. Arkansas at number one, LSU. Now, I've got LSU winning this one at home. Just, I don't see Arkansas coming out on this one. <sighs> Temple at number 19, Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati at home here. However... Temple is a good team. They're seven and four so far. I think Temple comes out to play. Uh, I think they're or sorry, not seven and four, seven and three. I think that uh, Temple's going to come to play, and they're going to give Cincinnati all they can handle. But I think Cincinnati comes out with the uh, with the win. Number six, Oregon at Arizona State. I'm picking Oregon to win this game. I think. Um, Arizona State's got a good thing going for them with the, with the new coach, but I think Oregon is going to, um, it's just got too much going for them right now. They're going to overpower Arizona State. It might be high scoring, but I got Oregon in the end. TCU at number nine, Oklahoma. I'm picking Oklahoma to win this one. I just, their offense is too powerful for me not to pick them at this point. So I'm going with Oklahoma. At the home win. Number seven, Utah at Arizona. I've got Utah winning this game. They're on the road. Arizona's not been that good this year, and Utah is still looking to keep themselves in that hunt for the playoffs. I got Utah at home. And last but not least, number 20, Boise State at Utah State. I'm picking Boise State to win this one at home. Or, sorry, they're on the road, but I've got them winning this one. I think Utah State's going to give them troubles. Uh, it's going to be a close game. But I got you, uh, Boise State in the end. So that is it for the 22 games of week 13. I'm really sorry I had to cram both these into one video for you guys. Um, I really wish I could have done two videos, but it's just time's been really, really short for me. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Sorry, I've been talking too fast and tripping over my words now. Um, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and uh, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments below Let me know what you guys think is going to happen as the season unfolds uh, and comes to a close here in the next uh, week or two I look forward to hearing from you guys and thanks for tuning in and as always I'll see you after the weekend for the week 13 recap